Well, a black bear made her way into one Spokane neighborhood today, forcing wildlife officers to sedate the wild animal and move her far away. Good evening, everybody. I'm McKay Allen. The bear was spotted in a tree just before noon at Pacific Park up Indian Trail Road. It took wildlife officers a couple of hours to get the bear safely away from neighbors. KXY 4's Andy Bishop is live near where this bear was found. And wildlife officers say it's not that unusual to find a bear in this area, but with it being so close to homes and traffic, they wanted to keep the public safe and give this bear a new home. High above traffic, homes and spectators. We wanted to see, so we kind of went in the woods. Yeah, <laughs> up the hill. <laughs> Clinging to a branch. This is a black bear. And he doesn't want to go anywhere. This bear hasn't shown any tendencies to be a problem bear. It's just been caught uh, in, an, in a uh, kind of an unusual spot. Sergeant Mike Sharon with Fish and Wildlife says the bear was passing through when something spooked him into a tree. For some reason, this bear has decided to go much higher. So that makes it a little bit more difficult for our work. So they called in the Spokane Fire Department and Police Department to help out. Using a ladder truck, a fish and wildlife officer armed with a tranquilizer gun climbed in the bucket and shot the bear with two darts to put him asleep. Daryl Petty took pictures with his cell phone as he waited for the bear to fall out of the tree. Petty lives nearby and enjoys the wildlife in his backyard. Always, always, but not too close. After about 20 minutes, the bear gives up and falls to a tarp below. Officers quickly load the bear in a trap. Uh, she's resting peacefully inside the trap right now. And soon she'll be resting on a mountaintop somewhere far, far away from here. There, there could be more occurrences like this throughout the summer. Hopefully this won't happen again. And we're told the bear was not injured in the fall and that uh, she'll most likely be living somewhere in Stevens or Ponderay County. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.